Hi, I'm Ryan Reeder, and this is my channel. You've come to the right place. Um, I know that this video isn't the highest quality yet. Hopefully I can learn how to make some adjustments. But uh, for a long time I've been wanting to do something more with this channel. So I want to start doing that now, and I think putting in a personal introduction might be appropriate. I picked up a lot of Spanish subscribers, so I think I'll try to dub some of them into Spanish, um, some of the videos. I don't know a lot about video editing yet, and I'm not sure about the limits of the software that I do have. So it might not be too sleek for now, but hopefully what you find here will be worthwhile. I have some ideas of things I want to do as far as content goes. Uh, the last thing I did was to edit pieces of an interview I found with Mr. Rogers. I'm kind of inspired by him in a way. Not that I plan to create a neighborhood of make-believe or find out how crayons are made with gentle accompanying music. But there's a story about why Fred Rogers, Fred, why Fred Rogers got involved in television in the first place. In the early days of television, when he was exposed to a program, he saw that the content was people throwing pies at each other's faces. And he was dismayed that such a wonderful medium with so much potential would be used for such demeaning content. So he decided to do something about it. He eventually got a program and used it to do good. Uh, encouraging two generations of children, including mine, to see their inherent worth and to know that they are loved. He may not have been overt about religion, but as an ordained Presbyterian minister with a special commission to minister to children through media, his beliefs certainly informed what he taught. We are all children of God, of infinite worth. We are brothers and sisters, and we should love each other. These are simple statements, but they are profoundly meaningful, and they have the power to change lives. When Mr. Rogers sang, It's you... I like. It's not the things you wear. It's not the way you do your hair, but it's you. I like the way you are right now, way down deep inside you. Not the things that hide you, not your toys. They're just beside you, but it's you. I like every part of you, your skin, your eyes, your feelings, whether old or new. I hope that you'll remember, even when you're feeling blue, that it's you I like, it's you yourself, it's you I like. When he sang that, he was teaching profound truths. Every human being has value, and that includes me, and that includes you. You, whoever you are watching this video, you are important. You are valued. Your value is not just another view, like, or subscribe on this video, but you have worth. You are my brother or sister, and because of that, I like you. I love you. Even though I don't really know you at all, you might be in a foreign country, I know that the person you are is unique and different from everyone else and similar to everyone else and wonderful. We're all different and we're all the same. Have you ever seen the Where's Matt videos where this guy named Matt Harding dances around with people from all over the world? Starting with his first video, one of the first really popular videos on YouTube in June 2006, it somehow manages, perhaps accidentally, to encapsulate some of the potential of what YouTube really is and can be. It shows people, real people, around the world being themselves, being unique, being different, being the same, being human. No matter what country you're in, no matter what you look like, your age, or anything else, God loves you and wants you to be happy. And he wants you to help other people be happy too. And we should do the same. We 
love each other and want each other to be happy. Anyway, that's something of the message that I hope to convey in these videos. Not necessarily overt in the content. Um, I believe that these things are true and that truth takes on many wonderful and interesting and fascinating forms. And I want to talk about it in whatever shape or form it might come in. History or math or pop culture or just being me sometimes. And I want you to also feel free to share yourself. That used to be YouTube's model, to broadcast yourself. That what make, that's what makes YouTube such a great marvel of our modern times. Now that it's been around for a while, maybe we don't realize that as much. We take it for granted a little bit. I was an early adopter of YouTube. I had videos up in 2006. One, a speed talking video got some attention. It only has 80 something thousand views on this site. But it used to be available in other formats. Another guy copied and got 120,000 views before taking down. And one night in February 2007, Yahoo put it on their front page for a while, where it got 250,000 views in two hours. And that made life a little interesting for a while. I also wanted to record myself reading the Book of Mormon, a religious text of my faith, The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, on YouTube. First, I wasn't sure how or whether I should proceed. Then I read a report of a talk Elder M. Russell Ballard gave at BYU-Hawaii in December 2007, where, for the first time that I knew of, he encouraged members of the church to join the conversation by participating on the internet, particularly the new media, to share the gospel and to explain in simple, clear terms the message of the Restoration. He went on to say that, Others have recorded and posted their testimonies of the Restoration, the teachings of the Book of Mormon, and other gospel subjects on popular video sharing sites. You, too, can tell your story to non-members in this way. Close quote. A few months before, I had recorded my testimony on YouTube, and I felt that it was now all right to record the Book of Mormon on YouTube. It took me a while, but eventually I did it, in both English and Spanish. Who was I to do such a thing? The Book of Mormon warns against priestcraft, which are the men preach them and set themselves up for light unto the world, that they may get gain and praise of the world, but they seek not the welfare of Zion. And I wanted to avoid being guilty of that. And yet, we're also told that no man, when he hath lighted a candle, putteth it in a secret place, neither under a bushel, but on a candlestick, that they which come in may see the light. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. And that's what I want to do. As has been said, alas for those that never sing, but die with all their music in them. Oliver Wendell Holmes YouTube removes the barriers for publication. It allows that uniqueness, that fire that is in you and me to be easy to share with everyone. It's not just in some of us, it's in all of us. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. Marianne Williamson. Another scripture of my faith, the Doctrine and Covenants, records the Lord saying that the weak things of the world shall come forth and break down the mighty and strong ones, that man should not counsel his fellow man, neither trust in the arm of flesh, but that every man might speak in the name of God the Lord, even the Savior of the world, that faith also might increase in the earth, that mine everlasting covenant might be established, that the fullness of my gospel might be proclaimed by the weak and the simple unto the ends of the world and before kings and rulers. And are we not all weak before him? I want to use this channel and the talents God has given me to do good in the world to let my light so shine, to not die with my music still in me, and to increase the good in the world. Some of my content might be fun, maybe even silly, some might be serious, some might be interesting, some might fall flat. I don't plan to include a lot of my private life, and maybe eventually I'll improve the technical aspects. But as in Mr. Rogers' day, he saw mediums with great potential being used for base purposes and thought it could be done better, so it is today. There is a lot of content on the internet. Some of it is good and uplifting, and I'm sure you know a lot of it isn't. 
I hope to be a voice for good, and to increase the good on YouTube, on the internet, and in the world. And if you want to, you can too. Because you are special and unique and wonderful, and you too have something to contribute, whether, whether here or in some other way. I hope you'll do it. I hope you do what you were born to do. I feel like this is one of the things I need to do with my life. Thank you for watching. I hope it's been worthwhile.